And folks, do you guys have the yellow cards if you had a question? No? Okay, so then we're just going to do something a little rogue. But you go ahead first, Avis, and then we'll do my thing. Go ahead. No, but I think this is a good example of how women can have very different realities across the difference of race, for example. Because my research on the issue, my book looks at black women specifically in leadership, and it's not as much an issue of confidence or even ambition. I mean, all the, all the data suggests uh, that black women are the demographic group that's most wanting to lead. We most want that promotion. We want to, we want to climb that career ladder. But in practice, what happens is that we're the demographic groups that's least likely to have anyone in senior position in our professional space that's willing to help us climb that ladder. So we have the ambition, we have the confidence, confidence, we have practical experience leading in our communities, doing everything from sort of leading community service organizations to leading movements, for example. But somehow, when we get in the professional sphere, our ambition and our ability does not match the opportunities that are afforded to us. And so that's why we have to be very specific. Yeah, you, you had mentioned the internalized glass ceiling, and I was going to ask, isn't it not really internalized? That sometimes if it's internalized, it's because it really exists, and so you do all the math to do the best that you can because there's a, a real glass ceiling that you're going to hit. Sometimes people will talk about I went to a presentation once, they said, you know, women need to be 96% sure of something before they'll speak, and a guy will, and don't quote me on these numbers, please, on Twitter, because I don't have to take, but a guy can be 60% confident, and he'll go ahead, and, and I didn't think that was a confidence issue, I thought it was actually, there's a literal fallout to being wrong. Right, so, so actually, you're, you're just navigating a space that's very tricky, because if you're wrong, you know you're gonna have trouble, well, so 96 is a number to aim for to make sure that you're never wrong, because there's a real fallout to your career. And, and if I can jump in, and I think this is a, it's a both and. I don't think it's only institutional, I don't think it's only internalized, because we know there are significant gender differences around risk taking, around competitiveness, and it's true, I agree, I mean, I'm very familiar with that um, data that black women and black girls are the most ambitious to lead, um, for sure. And we know that there are other factors at play that would potentially prevent somebody from applying for a job or speaking that, who's a woman because of some of those differences around risk and competitiveness.